Hello and good afternoon. I am naturalist Tara McNerney and I am here today to get the inside scoop on the life of a woolly adelgid. Hello, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Now, I'm sorry, but is it Mr. or Ms. Adelgid? Ms. to be sure. All hemlock woolly adelgids are female. Oh, I see. And are you a mother? Well, of course. I had my usual 100 eggs last June. Wow, must be quite the neighborhood. I suppose, although we move around quite a bit. Now, could you please tell our viewers where you're from, Miss Adelgid? I come from Japan, and I have recently made my home along the eastern United States. Well, yes, we've, we have noticed. We've certainly seen a proliferation of hemlock woolly adelgid homes here in our local uh, hemlock groves. But uh, so now for the hikers out there, if you're out and about, okay, you take a hemlock branch, turn it over, and if you look at the underside of the pine needles, you may just see a woolly substance. That is the product of a hemlock woolly adelgid. It's their protective covering for themselves and their babies. Um, yes. And if I might inject here, please do not disturb this woolly substance, as you call it. That took a fine bit of work to put together, you know. Now, Miss Adelgid, you have met with a fair bit of animosity since coming to the United States, have you not? Yes, that's true, but to be expected. It's the plight of any immigrant to a new location. Well. Yes, but the, the locals are distressed because you seem to be threatening the hemlock population. Ecologists here claim that you suck the hemlock sap by injecting a toxic saliva. Yep. Well, the fear is that this severely weakens the tree and then wood borers and other diseases can take hold and kill the tree. And insects gotta live. Besides, it's not dramatic, as you make it sound. I mean, the trees seem to live on for a good while after we've infected them. But our ecologists in the field say a tree only lives about, oh, four years once a woolly hemlock adelgid population has infected it. My point exactly. That's mighty long. Why, the woolly adelgid population would see the passing of eight generations in that amount of time. Yes, for our viewers who don't know, the woolly adelgid population can reproduce twice a year. And that's part of the reason why you're so successful at moving around from place to place. Now, but you have to understand, if the hemlock were left alone, it could live to be a hundred years old. You're joking! Nope. Okay, but allow me to remind you, humans were an invasive species too, but when you first arrived in the eastern United States, you killed the whole forest, not just the hemlocks. Well, um, yeah, I think that's all we have time for today, so um, thank you very much for joining us, Miss Woolly Adelgid.